today there are quite some uh, experiments first we've tried to um, um, reduce uh, the um, uh, coupling capacitor between the additional uh, video circuitry and the, uh, the first grid of the cathode array valve. Please Hans, um, have you now did, uh, no wait a minute, I now will add again the TV reference pulse which you see here is reducing the this is a question of time constant there is something one of the, uh, the capacitors in the circuitry is suppressing that this is being painted can you uh, Hans a little bit reduce the, um, the density of the Lisa view Ah, okay, this is fine, so. So you have a very um, clear picture of the Nachve target signal and the, the time reference uh, signal. And we can um, move here. In this case, I uh, move the, or I move the, the face and here you can see I'm moving the Nachte order uh, signal. The result is the same. Ah, it's, it's feeling very good. Very good. And this is the picture shown on the oscilloscope, which is a bit confusing, but it doesn't know upon which signal it has to trigger. I'm changing now at the same time maybe it is visible when I do it this way. Please follow this signal and please follow this signal against this one. And now I am changing the Nachve command signal. But the oscilloscope doesn't know upon which signal it has to trigger. That is the problem. And if you see, both are in the same, about the same vector. And you see, they are very next to, to one another. This is very interesting to see. The command pearls, and you see also the rotation on the CRT. So, and now I switch on the fire pole vendor selector, and you see a 180 degree um, signal shift because Nachte is a coherent system. Thank you.